I'm wrong? <gasps> See? I'm liking the cheaper foods already. Hi, I'm Alex Earl, and I'm playing Expensive Taste Test with Cosmo. I think I have expensive taste, but the, I don't always necessarily prefer the expensive thing. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. Makeup brushes. These are something that I use daily. They both have silver tops. This one has a dark royal blue bottom. I don't even know though, sometimes I'm colorblind. This one's very soft. Good thickness to it. I don't know, this feels good. I like this one. This one is skinnier. It has like a glass bottom. This one's also very soft, but it's a little bit thinner. Like the other one didn't bounce as much. This one has a little bit more bounce to it. This feels pretty good though, putting it on because the bristles like kind of spread out a little bit more. I think I'm making everything up that I'm saying. <laughs> I'm gonna say that this makeup brush is more expensive. It's all in the details, girls. Oh boy, okay. Bagels. I'm from Jersey. Jersey, New York bagels. They're better than most. So I have to get this one right. Right off the bat, this one's very soft. There's no hole in the middle of it. This one's like almost reminding me of a roll. Okay, let's rip them open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good rip. <laughs> This is good. It definitely tastes like raw pizza dough. This one's taking on more of a, like a little bit of a square shape. This one has a hole. The outside seems a little bit more maybe like toasted. Let's see the rip on the, this one. Okay. I think this one was a little bit like stretchier upon the rip. We're gonna go in for a bite. It tastes less doughy. Like this one just tastes a little bit fresher to me. I'm going with this bagel on my left as the more expensive. I'm wrong? <gasps> See? I'm liking the cheaper foods already. Whatever. You don't even need to tell me what this is. I can already smell it. It's tequila. <laughs> This is gonna bring me back scaries from the weekend. Okay, tequila always has like a very distinct smell. It's haunting, you know, you know that it's there. This one has more of a piercing scent. I don't know if that's gonna mean it's better or worse, but I smell this one and it's, woo. I guess we're gonna try it. Woo. I didn't know we were drinking today. It's not too tequila-y. Like tequila has a very specific like stench. I don't know, but sometimes that might mean it's more expensive. I'm gonna give it another sip. Okay. This one is tasting pretty good. I don't know. I'm liking what's going on over here. Let's move on to this glass. Okay, this one's got a lot more like tequila going on. I don't need to go for a second sip of that. Does that mean it's more expensive? I don't know. You know what? I think this one is more expensive. <laughs> like, really not more expensive, like way cheaper. Okay. <laughs> Here we have two green juices. This is gonna help wash down my tequila that I just drank. This one's a lot darker. This one's a more muted green. And this one has fizz at the top. This one is lacking on the ring. This smells very healthy. Ooh, this smells sweeter, but with a green juice, I'm feeling like the nastier it is, the better. So let's see. It's like giving like grass. This tastes like apple juice. This one's delicious. 
I'm gonna say that this one is more expensive. Do I know anything? No, okay. Here we have two pairs of pooped earrings. This one might be a little tricky for me. Okay, these are gold, these are silvery gold. We're gonna give these ones an in-depth examination here. The backing to this is pretty thick, feels pretty good. I've got a good grasp on the earring. Sometimes I feel like the backings will just slide right off. Let's see the comparison. So these have a backing that just flattens down into the back part. These are definitely heavier and these are bigger. I feel like this is made to trick me though. <laughs> You know what, I'm just gonna go with my gut. It didn't work out last time, but I think that the smaller ones are more expensive. I'm wrong! <laughs> what? Okay, maybe I should just start picking the opposite of what I think from now on. I'm putting on brow gel like every day, so. I should get this one right. This is like a nice rose gold packaging. I always think rose gold are nice. This one, we just have black. This one's a little bit thicker. We're gonna look what's on the inside. I'm trying to see if there's any like sticky stuff coming up. I'm gonna try these on. I'm trying to see if I can feel them <laughs> suction to my face. I'm going back to the black one. Ooh, we got a little goop there. See that? Is the goop good or bad? I feel like the goop is good. You wanna glue down your brows. And this brush is a lot smaller. We're gonna try this one out. <laughs> I have like no idea <laughs> where I'm putting this right now. I also have to remember that I put this on this brow and this on this brow. This one feels like pretty nice though. This one feels a little bit harder. But after taking time to examine I think that it is this one. I'm correct. <gasps> really deep down, I almost thought it was this one, but I just knew I'm always wrong. So look at that A little reverse psychology here. Two bikini tops. This one has a lot more like color pattern going on. So this has a wiring at the bottom. This material feels thicker for sure. Let's look at the clasps. These clasps, you take them apart like this and click them back together. Okay, that was a pretty good click. Okay, same here. Neither of the backings of these are giving me a problem. This one's definitely thinner. Like I wanna say that this one's more expensive just because it's giving more like non-bikini. I'm gonna say this one. Correct? Woo! Ooh, okay. We have two face serums. I've recently invested in a good face serum that I've been loving. It's the Beauty Sandwich face serum and it is so insanely expensive. I, it's so ridiculous. So I feel like I'm gonna try and see what feels, looks similar. This one has a cap. Let's test them out. This has like a pretty like neutral color. We're gonna rub it into my hand. See how shiny my hand is? I feel like that's pretty good. Okay, this one just smells like the face serum that I've been using, which is making me think it's got some like similar ingredient. On to serum number two. This has one of those lids where you can start and stop it. Ooh. See this one, this pump dished out a lot. Rubbing this one in, this is very shiny as well. This reminds me of like um, some type of like bathroom cleaner that I've used, like the smell of like a citrusy <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. And I think that this bottle is more expensive. I'm right? Oh my gosh, okay. There we go. I did a little worse than I thought. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed in myself. But I said in the beginning, sometimes I prefer the cheaper stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Tune into my podcast, Hot Mess. Bye.